Hi everyone from Text Nation TV. This week it's all about Google and Microsoft, or pff, Google and Apple. Sorry about that. Yeah, sorry about that. Hi and welcome to Text Nation TV. This is episode number 48. My name's Rusty G. I'm Alan. And this week it's Google and Apple. Sorry about that. Kind of got things confused there, but we've got uh, people losing jobs, mm -hmm. you know people gaining jobs, things like that. Uh, one thing that I did want to talk about up front before I got into the Apple stuff, this week there was a video released from a company called Face Deals. Yes. Apparently they have partnered with Facebook because the Face Deals and the Facebook logo are very, very similar. They have the blue with the same font that the Facebook comes out in. Really cool. All Some of the local Nashville businesses are partnering up with this and what it is you know how you check in when you go into a restaurant or someplace like that? Yeah. Some people, not all people, but some people, you know, do the check-in thing because they don't have Foursquare. They like to, you know, share with their friends wherever they're at. That's when their house gets robbed. Because <laughs> they know that they're not at home. Just a little text tip from Text Nation. <laughs> but anyway, so what they're doing is they're using your face and using facial recognition software through Facebook. What you do is you sign up for a Face Deals account. You go through, feed them your pictures, and they go, is this you, is this you, is this you, is this you? Mm -hmm. And you go through like six or seven of them, and they finally kind of get a facial recognition of you, and they go, okay, we got your profile, we know who you are from multiple angles, we can kind of tell what your face looks like. So, what these Nashville... Um, so this thing is just to go to Facebook? Well, or not... Or get you in the door? It's it kind scans your face? It, scan it scans your face, and once you get in the door, you're checked in. But also on top of this, it's kind of Groupon-ish because it gives you a deal for that local business based upon your likes. Okay. So if you like, let's say, Budweiser and Bud Light and anything Budweiser, Anheuser-Busch, anything under that label, it might, if you walk into a bar, which Jed's Bar and Grill is here in Nashville, if you walk in and you have those as likes on your page, it might give you a dollar off. I, I have no idea. Don't quote me on that. But it might give you a dollar off your beer if you go in to drink at Jed's Bar. Now there's other participating locations around Nashville. They're doing it, and they'll spread out eventually. But right now, it's just so the owner Nashville. can set up incentives yes. for people. Okay. Yes, absolutely. Kind of cool for the techie crowd. Not so much everybody else who has a privacy issue. I know there's a lot of you out there that have that privacy issue and don't like being known where you are, and you don't like that thing. So I mean, that that can be turned off. Obviously, mm -hmm. the camera's not gonna you know be on. Uh, it'll be on 24/7 whenever they're. Oh, well, I shouldn't say 24/7, but anytime the business is open. But if you don't allow that and you don't sign up for it, it's not gonna check you in. So it's one of those odd things. You know, for me, I don't give a rip. My life is a glass house. You can ask me anything. What else can they take? <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs> Gee, thanks for the reminder. But anyway, it's kind of cool. Wanted to spotlight that because it's Nashville based, so that was kind of cool. Yeah. So tell us about Google, because there were a couple Google stories that we wanted to go over. Well, today Google announced more jobs lost. 4,000 people lost their jobs today. Thank you, Google. <laughs> I'm sure they had to pay for that Kansas City thing that we've seen nothing else in the news. Which, speaking of, uh, that just drives me nuts. Do you know there's already, I think there's like 700 uh, and 50 people signed up for that to get Google Fiber in their house at the door. Mm -hmm. That is ridiculous. That is awesome. I really wish they would have brought it to Nashville. Well, if you live, yeah, if you live there, you'd sign up as well. <laughs> the bad part about it is because wireless technologies aren't you know up to par with that. Like your wireless in only goes up to like 450, 500 something. Don't, don't give me that. <laughs> Those videos I sent you from the 90s, the cloud, the smart TV. <laughs> The touchscreen phone. Yeah, Alan did send me we some... We should be further along. It pisses me off because I know that AT&T and Apple knew this and like, no, we can make a little more money off this if we just give them a Chrome and another Chrome <laughs> and another Chrome. And that's how we end up with Apple Sheep and Apple Fanboys. Exactly. <laughs> We're all just on our way to the slaughter. But speaking of that, Google also bought... Fromers. Fromers, that's right. I can never remember their name. Yeah. And they only paid $38 million. So to Google, that's those, Chunk change. That's those 4,000 people. <laughs> that's horrible. So they got rid of them and bought that. And they also bought Zagat as well for like $32 million. So yeah. Wow. There'll so be some more jobs lost as well. So thank you, Google. <laughs> but now you'll know who has the best stake and how to get there directly <laughs> on Google Maps. Google's doing some Supposed crazy stuff. Supposed employees can 
Yeah, Google's doing some crazy stuff. I mean, when the uh, previous person who worked at Google, now taking over Yahoo as the CEO, the young lady who took over there, she's trying to do the same thing there. Meg, uh, no, don't, uh, scratch that. I'm just going to say the young lady who took over. I, I want to say Meg Whitman. I, don't quote me on that. Meg Ryan. <laughs> but anyway, uh, she's doing the free lunches at Yahoo like Google does for their main campus. Mm -hmm. Kind of an idea, kind of not. Another cool, quick little Google thing I thought was kind of cool. They're trying to come out with translation via images so that you can write in. You know how you were talking about how they can do finger recognition, you can write pizza, and it automatically does it, but for you it never does? No. <laughs> they, can take, they can take now Chinese character recognition and start putting in you know, Chinese characters and other characters, but Chinese being one of the hardest because there's so many characters in that language. Mm -hmm. You know, There's seven different ways to say the word cat, you know. I don't know, but anyway, it's just something cool that they can take an image and just, you know, you write with your finger and translate. I thought that was pretty cool. So, yeah. uh, any other Google news for this week? No Google. <laughs> Yahoo, speaking of her, yeah, has irritated some investors. I, I heard about this. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, she decided to make some decisions and change a couple of things. Including that free lunch. Yeah. But her uh, her changes have not made everybody happy. No, they haven't. <laughs> it let me. <laughs> well, anyway, there was there was a lot of bad decisions that they think as the board said. Look, we maybe not need to go in this direction. So uh, there's a lot of bad decisions. I don't think uh, it's just somebody trying to come in there with a new fresh face, new fresh set of eyes. You know, well, it's like you know, new money coming in trying to take over old money. Yeah. So eh, neither here nor there, but. Anyway, to get away from bad news from Yahoo, uh, we're going to kind of Apple touch it for a few minutes because obviously coming around the corner September 12th, uh, it's not confirmed. We are short of an invitation saying that yes, the Apple iPhone 5 or the new iPhone or whatever the hell they want to call it is going to be coming out September 12th, mm -hmm. but they won't release the product till nine days later on the 21st. We kind of pretty much know that. Uh, we have heard rumors of the body, uh, we have heard rumors of the new camera, we have heard rumors of the new dock connector, we've heard pretty much everything. We pretty much know what it's going to be. Yeah, we basically have a CNC machine, we could just make one ourselves. Yeah, I mean, they're already making cases, again, before the phone gets released. Some Chinese companies are already out there making the cases. It's kind of ridiculous. Uh, we don't actually don't know about megapixels on the camera, but they're supposed to be a better camera, we think. Uh, 8 megapixel from the iPhone 4S. We don't know if it's going to make it over to the new iPhone. Uh, faster processor, obviously. Um, we're shooting for an A6 is what the rumor is shooting for. Uh, the new dock pin connector. Mm -hmm. 9 pins versus the 8 or 16 that was before. We think it's going to be in the dead center on the bottom. Small, bigger speakers on the bottom. With the headphone jack, for some reason, being on the bottom. Uh, aesthetically, it's been on the top for the last... You know, five phones. Uh, I just don't understand. I, I'm not big on the jack being on the bottom, but I don't have an iPod Touch, so I couldn't be. I couldn't be exactly right. But either way, uh, we've seen you know LTE in the iPad 3, so I, LTE will be in the new iPhone. Uh, we've seen the bigger battery to hopefully take charge of that LTE problem. That well, how are they gonna control the heat? Well, the heat, I don't know. Uh, it's going to be one solid uni unibody piece across the back. It's going to be metal, so maybe it might dissipate better than glass. I'm not good with science on how metal dissipate or heat dissipates through materials. I, I couldn't tell you. Well, I know the Droid Razor bottom is carbon fiber right. for that reason, yeah. to keep it cooler. Yeah, so I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not good with the sciences to tell you that answer. I, I couldn't tell you. Um, obviously, a longer screen, they're going to keep the same uh, width as far as the 640 and I think it's gonna I think it's 1136 now mm -hmm. instead of 940 so they're gaining like 276 pixels or something like that not much yeah, to give you a thinner bezel yeah so thinner bezel um, faster processor a6 I think that, there's also you know uh, the new iPad mini ish we don't know uh, going for that 7 inch range to tackle the Nexus 7 from Google the Kindle Fire from Amazon and also the book is it Barnes and Noble Nook Nook, Nook? Yeah. yeah so that's pretty seven much all those is. seven inch Android or Android devices that yeah. are out there so that's going to be uh, just under what two hundred dollars for that that's that's what the rumor is yeah 
So we're shooting for that. We're going to see what happens there. Um, but could you imagine this time around, they have not really refreshed the iPod Touch because last year wasn't much of a change. Mm -hmm. So if they, they release a new iPod Touch, a new iPhone, and a new iPad Mini, that would be a ridiculous launch for September. Or, I think that would be great. Or even a new... Uh... I've heard iPod rumor. Watch. I've heard or iPod, uh, iPod, iPod Nano. Yeah, <laughs> I've heard rumor of that. Yeah, I've heard rumor of Bluetooth connecting from here to the phone because they've already got the hardware. Obviously, they just need to change the software and well, add radio. I gotta compete with uh, Pebble, Sony. Yeah, They're all the smartwatches we've talked about before. So that's kind of cool. And you could see your text messages just quick. You know, get your text message, get your email. Yeah, real Dick Tracy stuff. Yeah, just quick notifications. No camera on the front though. No, not able to you know do the phone call from your watch just yet. But I'm sure that's down the road. So we'll see what happens with that. So, yep. all right. Well, that's going to be a short episode for this week. We didn't really have much else to talk about. We want to just get on with our tech news and give you what you got in under 15 minutes, hopefully. So. Make sure you follow us online. We've got multiple places. You can follow us on Twitter, twitter.com slash TV. And it's facebook.com slash TV. You can subscribe to us on YouTube, youtube.com slash TV. You pinners out there, pin us, pinterest.com slash TV. Those of you on Google+, Plus, which I have seen him a lot more often now, he's actually posting a lot. So go check it out, gplus.to slash TV. And then, again, if you want to follow us separately, he's Text Allen. I'm Rusty G, and we'll see you again for episode number 49. Thanks for watching.